Joining us now, guest number three on this Thursday and making her Studio B debut, Stephanie Ringwood, defender, sophomore for BYU women's soccer, the fifth-ranked team in the country. Stephanie, welcome to the show. Yeah. Okay, are you aware of the BYU Sports Nation karma? Have your friends given you <laughs> the idea of what happens here? I have heard of the karma. Okay. Mm. But I've heard that you score a goal. But I'm a center Good. back, so I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> 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 Not with that attitude, it won't. Um, good, it's it's good vibes basically. Okay. okay, like something good will happen for you. Okay. So if you're Just a center a back, game. great clearances, uh -huh. a shutout, block a goal maybe, block a goal. Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. Okay, I I would expect that if I was you actually. Okay, but you expect that every game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's no coincidence. We bring on good players and they play. You know, you, you see where it's going. You're gonna have a good game anyways. Now let's talk about that for a second. You've only given up four goals this season as a defense. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing statistic through 12 games. How has that happened? Um, I think a large part is just our goalkeeper, Boaz. She's incredible. And when we do let someone shoot, she'll always we always know that she can save it. But I don't – we just have a solid back line. And our whole team plays defense. So it starts with the forwards, midfield, and then the defenders. And it's just been – a good year. Now, one of the concerns coming into the season was how would that defensive back line perform? We saw the offensive striking power last year. Mm -hmm. Basically, all of it returned. And so the question mark was, was the defense. Well, now that you've only given up four goals through 12 matches, I mean, what, what does that tell? What should people be giving more credit to the BYU defense on the soccer team than they are? I mean, as a defender, I think – like all defenders, it's just natural for a position to get overlooked just because people want to see goals. People, that's what they care about. The stats, they care about the goals. But I think we've been getting a lot of credit for what we've been doing. So I feel like accomplished. I don't know. It's, yeah. And one of those validating accomplishments, uh, not only is 10-1-1, one, one, but you're ranked fifth in the country. Do, do you like being ranked fifth in the country? What does that mean to you? Yeah, I I like being ranked. I think it's cool to see our name everywhere and see that we're one of the top five teams. But it personally doesn't feel like we're a top five team. I I mean I I don't know. I just don't even feel like I'm a college athlete still. So <laughs> <laughs> that probably adds to it. But so, it's so, like shocking. I don't know. So you're not you're not feeling like disrespected per se. You're just naive to the ranking or what i mean what like mean? i know we're like ranked and i'm mm -hmm. like oh that's so cool but like i mean we when we go into training and practice and everything our coaches are always like pushing us to not settle so they're always like even though like we've had an awesome year like we can't settle for what we are we have to keep pushing and keep getting better so when you're constantly trying to get better you still feel like more or less like the underdog who's trying to get up which i think has helped us reach fifth because we have that mindset yeah that's that's a great explanation i assure you that this interview uh, interview is real you you are, <laughs> you are a, college athlete. a division here. one college athlete <laughs> this is actually happening right now stephanie ringwood byu sophomore defender is with us in studio b do you feel pressure as the fifth ranked team in the country um yeah i think we definitely have like a target it's like every game I mean, when people play us, they're like, oh, we're playing. A, like when we played Stanford, we were like, oh, we're playing like the number two team. Like you have more incentive to beat them because it'll bump you up more. And so I think us being five puts a target on us. And then since we've done well, we want to keep doing well. So it's like we have something to lose if we were to go down since we've made it this far. And there's an opportunity, if you guys continue to play really well, that you could host some NCAA tournament games, so that's on the line as yeah. well. Um, when, when you look at the defenders, there's this tradition that goes back from before when you got here. Um, I don't know how long it's been going, but tell us about, tell us about spitting as a group <laughs> on the field. What, it, what is that, and what do you guys – what is that? Yeah, to be honest, I don't really know why we do it. I just – when I became a defender, they're like, okay, this is what we do, this is what you say, and then we spit after. And I was like, okay, so – So after you're on the field, starters have been announced, and we're showing some video on BYU TV. The goalie and the four defenders, you lean over – you say something, uh -huh. and then you then you spit. Why why are you spitting? Is it a turf <laughs> thing? This is our turf. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we spit, but we do. Like you're, so. like you're marking your territory like a bear or something? Like it's, I really, I wish I knew, but I don't. Is it a secret saying? Is this something that you I can't mean, reveal? I mean, no. <laughs> we like all say something. What, every every person does? Yeah, I say two things. Like a rant? Is it random? Or no, it... it's like we have like a set. Like I think I can share this. I don't think this is a secret. I don't know. But like we'll say, I don't even remember what the other people say. I think it's left side, strong side. I say right side, bom- back side, bomb side, and then rage side. I think that's... I know I say right side it's like a and bomb the side. Moment, it kind like. uh, yeah, and then we. Sp- <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what it means, yeah. but yeah, it's what oh, we do, and it's worked. So that's fun. I think we need to start spitting on our set. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. yeah. <laughs> Left side. No. Okay. Right side. We can't do that. We okay, will not we do won't. that. We Stephanie, won't. good luck tomorrow night against San Diego. We uh, <laughs> we we now officially dub you at the BYU Sports Nation karma. Oh yeah. Thank you. The Gregorian chants are now raining down. And you will perform well against San Ready Diego. To score a goal, so. Oh yeah, she wants to score a goal. Look <laughs> at that. Goal. But see how the attitude changes at the beginning. She's like, I don't know, you know, I'm the center back. Now she's like, I'm going to score. This Just be super aggressive on corner kicks around the goal. <laughs> yeah. Something good Listen, will happen. They'll cover you on the back end. Don't worry about getting back Just on a corner. All that matters Just, is the goal. Yes, yes. Stephanie, great to have you with us. Thank you. Up next on BYU Sports Station, the Cougar Whip Around Plus. Who deserves the elite tweet of the day? I like the pirate accent one from at Cisco Rue. I like anyone that spits now, I guess. Okay. 